What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple player controller for a side scroller with C Sharp in Unity 2D. The first thing you need to do is create a script. So you just go here, you, you right click down here, create C Sharp script. I'll just call it controller. Just nice and simple. I'll just go ahead, wait for it to load, and double click on it. There. It appeared on my other monitor for some reason, but there it is. Now you can see it already comes preloaded with some things, public class controller, void start, void update, and all these using things. This is just bringing in the things I can actually use. But we can get rid of void start because we don't actually need that. Anything that's put into void start only runs when the game is first activated then doesn't run again. So we don't need that. But the first thing we can do after that is go ahead and make some variables. I can delete that note too, I don't need that. But here's what I have to do. I can just go ahead and type zero, a serialized field. And then float move speed equals 4f. This makes it so that I have a variable called move speed that equals 4 and serialized field makes it so I can change that at any time in here in Unity instead of having to go back to the code. After move speed, I'll go ahead and type serialized field float jump speed. I'll go ahead and make that equal 5. I think that sounds good. Sorry, I meant to put a semicolon there. Now that we have our variables, we can start on the inputs. We need to check for inputs every frame, so I'll go ahead and put it th those in update. Moving left and right, I have to type float move amount equals input dot get axis horizontal. And I have to make sure I spell this exactly right because it's a string. And if I get even one letter wrong, it won't work. Then I multiply that by move speed. And then I multiply that by time dot delta time then semicolon. Input dot get axis just checks for if I'm hitting A or D and on a controller for moving the left joystick left to right. Move speed is just multiplying it by move speed so that I can control how fast I'm moving. And then time dot delta time makes sure that no matter what my frame rate is, I'll always move at the correct speed. After that, I have to make another variable, float jump amount. Just like before, equals input dot get axis and then this one will be jump then I'll go ahead and multiply that by jump speed and then time dot delta time now I have variables for moving and jumping but these are just variables. They're not actually doing anything in that for the actual game. I have to go ahead and type transform dot translate. This makes it so that the X, Y, and Z positions will move. X is left and right, Y is up and down, and Z is forward and back, which isn't important right now because I'm making a 2D game. So I have to type move amount, comma zero, comma zero. And then I go ahead and enter transform dot translate zero comma jump amount comma zero semicolon and I forgot the semicolon up here by accident you have to have a semicolon at the end of each line in case you didn't know once you're done typing everything you have to hit control s to save and then go back to unity it'll recompile the scripts and then you'll be ready to continue we need to add a character next because right now, we have code, but it's not actually attached to anything. Nothing is happening. So for my player, I'll just go ahead and make a capsule. It doesn't really matter. You can do whatever you want, but I'm just going to use a capsule. I'm just going to go ahead and move it here. Now I have to add the script to it. Just click and drag controller, bring it over here. See, now we have move speed and jump speed. If you think your character is moving too fast or slow or jumping too high or low, you can adjust these. 
and these will stay there, but you can't edit it in the code anymore. Editing these won't do anything unless you give it a zeroized field. You have to edit them out here now. To test if it works, we need to actually add an area to move around in. So I'll just go ahead and build a small level area. Okay, I have my area. Now I need to go into the character and add collision and a rigid body. So I'm just gonna go, gonna go ahead and add a box collider 2D so that it has the collision of a box. And then a rigid body 2D. When building 2D games, you have to make sure you choose 2D components, otherwise it won't work correctly. Now here's where the rigid body is where you can change things like gravity. Just one is good for me, you might want to change it for what you're doing, but just for this example, one is fine. And now, for the, this, I can just phase through it right now, I'll just pass right through it, I need to add collision to this as well. Now I can go ahead and press play and see if it works. Okay, W and D work. Feels a bit slow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, let's see, 10, maybe eight jump speed. I haven't tested it yet, but that might be good. Okay, it's a good jump height. Seems like a good speed. Okay, and it works fine. And just like I said, if you think this is too fast or slow, you can just go over here and change move speed and jump speed to whatever you want. There's no limit. That's all for the player controller. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. See you next time.